Join me in this Trash to Treasure tutorial as I turn cracker boxes into adorable little girl purses. These pretty little things can also be used around the holidays as gift boxes. Before we get started, I want to let you know I'm having a contest. Do you like bag number one? Bag number two? Or bag number three. After you've watched the video, don't forget to respond in comments. Bag one, two, or three. To start out with, get some empty boxes, any size or shape. Uh, what I like to use are these Triscuit boxes. Once you've got some boxes, then go ahead and get your fabric, trims, tape, scissors. You're also going to need some hot glue. The great thing about this project is you don't need a ton of fabric and trims. Um, so even if you've got uh, pieces of scrap material around the house, they might be big enough to cover a small box. Um, I just like to use whatever I have on hand, whatever scrap pieces, and I want to talk to you about these Mirabu feathers. I love trimming out the bags in the Mirabu. So, um, another thing that I like doing is adding a couple of trims together. I like this. What we want to do next is deconstruct the box. Uh, lay it out flat and find the seam where the box is glued together and tear that apart and trim off that tab, both sides of that. Uh, because what you want to do is when you tape the box back up together, you want to have an opening for your bag. So that's what we're doing right now. And it's pretty easy. Just go ahead and uh, match the box sides back up again. And with your tape, tape it back up so that it's square and firm. Now we want to wrap the box with white copy paper because the branding for these boxes will show through some of the fabric. Um, a lot of times you think, oh, you're good to go, um, but just don't skip this step. It, it is quite important. Uh, many times I've uh, gone to cover the bag with the fabric only to find out the all of the branding and everything shows through. So it, it may take two pieces of copy paper, but go ahead and tape them together and wrap the box up and then tape it up and then with scissors trim it out. To determine the right size uh, to cut the fabric, you want to go ahead and place your box on the fabric that you'll use on the exterior of the gift bag. So once you've got that in place, get your scissors and trim it to size. Use that piece of fabric as the template for your interior fabric. You want two different fabrics one for exterior, one for inside the bag. It just looks cuter that way. So with that original piece of fabric that's going to line the box, go ahead and use that as your template. Cut it to size. Sew those two pieces of fabric together, just with about a quarter of an inch inseam. Check to see what kind of inseam you're going to need, uh, so measure with the box one more time. Once you've approximated how far in you need to sew for that final seam for the box, go ahead and match up the fabric and run it through your sewing machine.
The next step, you're going to go ahead and pull this fabric inside out and you're going to go ahead and start wrapping the box. Now you're going to have to push, pull, or shove that box all the way into the fabric. Once you've covered the box, go ahead and temporarily slide the lining inside the box because we're going to work on the bottom of the box now. Cut a piece of cardstock that's about the same size as the bottom of your box and you also want to cut a piece of fabric that is just a little bit larger than the cardstock. Alright, on the cardstock, go ahead and just drop in a little bit of glue, just a fine line of hot glue. Center the fabric and then go ahead and fold the fabric over and completely cover the cardstock. This gives it a finished look. So if you're going to be giving these as gifts, it's nice to have this bottom finished in this way. So you just want to bring in the overlap. And after gluing down these edges, we'll do the same thing with the bottom of the box. We will glue the fabric down in the exact same way. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I do like to trim off the overage because it uh, it allows this end piece to lie flat once you glue it on the bottom of the gift bag. I kind of like this fabric. I wonder if you do too. It's my own uh, fabric. I, I have put out in the past a line of fabric and we'll be doing that in an upcoming tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. So here we are. We are gluing um, the exterior fabric down onto the very bottom of the box. That's good to go. And trim it up. With hot glue, you're going to go ahead and apply that cardstock that's been covered in fabric. You're going to go ahead and apply that to the very bottom of the box. Just use the hot glue and a little bit of pressure. With a measuring tape, you want to find the center of the bag so that you can place your ribbon handles in the right spot. So I find center and then I go an inch off to the right and an inch to the left. And I attach the wired ribbon with notebook fasteners. They're just the little metal fastener that you can put it through a hole and spread the back end. So that's what we're using to attach the bag handles. With a very, very sharp awl, puncture the fabric and the cardboard box below. And please avoid puncturing any kind of holes in your lining. I fold the ribbon 
and puncture each end and that's how I use the fastener to attach the ribbon to the bag so just put it right through and once the fastener has gone through the hole spread the back and it will be very sturdy now do the other side These are the metal fasteners that I was talking to you about. Use a pen to dot in where the handle on the other side goes. Once you've got both handles on, then you want to go ahead and pull the interior lining together, double it up, and stitch it together. Tuck the lining inside of the bag it's time to get your glue gun plugged in, so get it revved up, get it hot, get that glue uh, warmed up because you're on your last step of putting the trim on. So measure the trim and then cut it. This is my favorite part because the purse doesn't really look like much until you put that sweet marabou trim on there. So with your glue gun, apply a thin line of glue and then just place the trim where you want it and hold it firmly for a second or so and just keep going around the bag. And if you notice the bag handles, the ribbon is not perfectly done, but it doesn't matter because your trims normally cover up where you've placed the handles. Now you want to tuck the end um, way up under the first layer of the marabou where you uh, first began. So put a uh, hot glue on there and this final last step is super important. You do not want the feathers to be falling off so you don't want anything left unattached. With the marabou end just place it under and fold over Can you imagine these sweet little bags came from just boxes out of the kitchen? So here we are, we're at the end of the video, and I'd like to find out which one's your favorite. Here they are in better light. Don't forget to leave a comment. Do you love bag number one? This candy stripe bag, which is bag number two or slate polka dots with navy trim, bag number three. I've been making these bags for many years and at one time I was selling them and I think I'll go ahead and put them back in my Etsy shop. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'm still wondering which bag you like best, one, two, or three. I sure enjoyed doing this video for you today. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up share it, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.